At first, they didn't find out that I was having tuberculosis. They told me I have a pneumonia. First, they told me that I have a viral resp uh, respiratory from, from the flu. And then they sent me home, go home, drink juice, buy pineapple, fruits, whatever, the flu. Then when I go home, that is when I get sick. Then I go back to the hospital. I was continuous coughing. But the cough was like, I was coughing at like um, 3 a.m. But that cough was like, um, I eat like um, chili, then it's like choking me. I was not having that cough, which was like, like I, something is coming out. It was just for 30 minutes. Then after 30 minutes, the cough will go away. I was not having night sweats. I was not sweating, but, and I was feeling weak. When I was in hospital, that is when I get worse. I was so skinny, I couldn't walk, I was not eating, and by that time, I was, if I drink anything, even what I was throwing up. I have some other families, like friends, family friends, they died because of TB. So I was always, the way I see them get sick, I was like, God, please don't give me this. I don't like to be sick with TB. I start, I'm driving and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm living by my own. The, the job which I have now, my full-time job respiratory tech is really good and we have benefits, which is I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. So it really changes a lot. So I, on the other side, I think that I've been sick. So the way I was sick, that's why I wanna be close every time to be with the patients. I like it because I always like engage with the patients. Some, I can tell them, they will be like, oh, I'm dying. I said, you know what? You are not going to die. I explained my story to them. They feel fair. They said, okay, thank you.